Okay, first thing I see here is 7, 8, 9. That can't be a 7. That can't be a 9. And that can't be an 8. And then I kind of notice there's some restrictions right here. It looks like a 1, 7, 9. Alrighty. Uh, where this can't be a 9. And that can't be a 1. So it kind of creates a 7, 9 make a pair right there and then I'll come down to this one because it has the next most restrictions. I see a one four nine. Alright, there's the one and that's not a nine. Greetings friend. I'll show you how to solve the rest of this puzzle. Round eight, puzzle five of the twenty twenty two Sudoku Grand Prix, sponsored by the United States. I'll explain all the Sudoku tips, tricks and strategies as I do it. Click on the link below if you want to try it yourself. And of course with that it's solving time. Very unique grid going here. So I went right for the river the restrictions were. Because this is kind of like telegraphing. Like you need to work on columns three and seven and across rows two and I would say even across row eight here. So what do we got here? One uh looks like a one eight nine. One eight nine. So that can't be a one. And this can't be a nine. And then this of course can't be an eight. And what I see here is I see actually a couple of very interesting. Um, I see X wings. So let me let me point out what I'm talking about here. All right, an X wing. Look, so in columns three and seven, the ones are in the same two rows. They're in rows five and nine. So either ones here, and then there, or it's going to be there and there. Uh, either way, we can re get rid of all the other ones across rows five and nine. Uh, how that affects this puzzle, if you look, you have a 1 coming down here. Uh, no 1's can be across row 9, so the 1's are limited to these two spots right there. It kind of makes it a pointing pair of 1's, and I'll mark this, uh, these 1's. These are called Snyder notations. So anytime there's only two possibilities remaining, I will make those marks. And I plan to just kind of mark uh, pairs and triples. That's as far as you need to go. These puzzles aren't that hard. But the other thing I notice is there's another x-wing and it's with the nines so look right here so the nines are both you know in columns three and seven limited to the same two rows rows one excuse me yeah one and nine uh, so that means there's no nines across the top other than those two and there's no nines across here uh, what's interesting with that is since we now know there's no nines right there you got this nine coming down we can solve this for a nine so, so that cell right there can be a nine so let me Put that 9 in there and we'll get rid of the coloring and that's going to help us kind of break into this puzzle. I'm not sure if there's an easier way of doing this, but this is what I see first going by what the restrictions gave me here. So let's do this. Uh, so now you notice the 8 has only got one spot here. The 1's got only one spot there. So this is a 1-8 naked pair uh, right there. And so I'll kind of get rid of those marks. And so now with this 8 limited to column 5 here, this is no longer an 8. So now we can solve up here across row 2. See how that works? 9 and then 7, and we're going to be able to solve all the way down row 3 as well. And so now we get rid of this 9. Can we do even better than that? Yep, yep. See how we can solve all that now? Uh, 1, 8, and there's your 9. And so we got 1, 4, and a 1, 4, so this has to be your 9. You only spot left for a 9. This has got to be your 4, and that's your 1. Uh, we just solved the 1, so we can now solve this for a 1. And look how much progress we just made there. That was pretty cool. And so now you're going to look and like, where else can we make some solves in this puzzle? You know, you see some limitations in like blocks three, nine, of course, eight. I'm looking right at eight and seven. So seven, eight, nine, I feel like there's a lot going on down here. So let's look across here. What well, we need? Three, four, six. I see a four and a six. So that's got to be your three. And the threes will be limited to these two spots. I'll keep that in mind. And this is going to be your four, six. Can't solve that just yet. Uh, now, what do you want to look at here? It looks like 1, 3, 6, 7, 9. Okay, the 7 is only limited to one spot in block 7, so I can make that solve. And then you look in here, we got a 2 and a 5. Can't solve just yet, but it's going to create some more restrictions up here. I won't make these naked pairs because I think they're good, they're good to annotate and they'll create the, you know, some quicker solve. But hey, the 6. And this 6, okay, what is remaining here? It's a 4 and an 8. All right, there we go. Yeah, let's pull off that 8 instead. 8 and the 4. And so now the 4 and the 4 and this 4 means we can solve for a 4 right here. 
That gives us a 2, 3. Great. Okay, now I want to see, you know, where else can I make a quick solve? 9, 9. Got a 9 here, so that's going to be a 9. Sweet. And then let's look across the top here. You know, 1, 4, 9, those are already resolved. 1, 2, 3, so 3, 3. 3 has got to be one of these two spots up there. Uh, and so now you're kind of looking like, where can I, you know, make those great solves? So 4, 4, this is now 3, 4. Make a pair. Maybe you see that because the fours are limited in the same spots the threes are, which now limits this for a four, six, eight, it looks like. So that's uh, the four can't be here anymore and it can't be up here. So we can actually now solve the four for right there and the six right there. And then those would be a, a six, eight, but you can see there's a six right there. So here's your eight and here's your six. And so we made a lot more progress there. Six and six can't. Make the marks of six there. What's right here? Two, five, and eight. So there's the eight coming up. So that for an eight, and this is going to be a two, five. But you see, there's the twos right there. So that's your five. That's your two. Nice. And now where are we looking at here? Uh, kind of finishing the row here. Three, five. Can't solve that yet. So we'll mark that. And then what do we have right there? It's going to be a six, and well, an eight. But we got an eight there. So here's your eight. Here's your six. So now you just create more restrictions on these blocks that we haven't solved yet. So where are the two cells missing here? Well, one's a five, so I can mark that five real quick. And then the other would be uh, seven. Nice. And so I'm going to look here and go, okay, I want to look at any block that I have, at least have five filled out. And so the only one really that satisfies that is this block right here. So let's look across. We need a two, three, six, seven. So we need a 237 there, 236 here. That doesn't really help us. 23, look at this. We have a 267. So we can actually solve for a 3 right there. And so 23, so we know that's going to be a 67. That's going to be a 27. That's going to be a 26. So that helps. This 3 is going to help us now disambiguate this 2, 3 up here, which gives us this 5, 2 right here. And you see how quickly we're kind of getting through the solve. And now there's only two spots left in column 8. One is going to be a 1, so we can make that mark for the 1 and then the 9. And now the 9 and the 9 and the 9, I'm going to go right to cross hacking because that's the quickest way that I can get that solve going. And now we're building across row 4. And so I'm going to kind of switch with the row 4. I know I need a 3 and a 4 still, but what else do I need? I need a 6. And so 3 and a 4 right here, I know my 6 is going to be right there. And so then this can be my 3, 4. And now 6, 6, another 6, boom, cross hatch that 6 right there. So 2, 3, 5 coming down, uh, 2 right there. So that's to be a 3, 5. And so anytime I see now this naked pair 3, 5, I know that bumps out the 5 from right here. So that's got to be a 2, that's got to be a 5. Now we can solve the 3, 5, 3, the 4, the 3, the 4. And you see there's only four cells left, so we can just finish this all up pretty quick. Uh, first, I'm going to focus over here looking for a 2 and a 7. So there's my 2, 2 and a 7 there. And then I'll cross hatch over and say, oh, there's a 7 missing. And now we get to our last solve, and that's going to be a 5. If you like this solve, I recommend you check out my X-Wing tutorial, which I'll put a link right here. Also, I have the playlist that you can look at some more of my great solves for the Sudoku Grand Prix. Don't forget to buy me a coffee link below. I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching.